since the winter season is now upon us, I took my uh, time to build a little wood stove here for tent camping. At this point in time, I do not have the fiberglass insert in the roof of my tent to actually use this little wood stove inside the tent, but I will briefly uh, show you how I made the stove, so if you would like, you can also build one. It was quite simple, and it did not cost a great deal of money. Uh, my opinions on it at this point, if you're a person who wanted to do backpacking, I would highly suggest investing your money into a, tit into a titanium wood stove. Um, they're much lighter, this being steel and constructed out of an ammo can and is actually quite heavy. And uh, it's not something you'd want to go backpacking with, but it'll work great if you're doing uh, car camping where you drive your car up to your campsite or don't have to go far between your car and where you actually uh, pitch your tent. So it'll work great for applications like that. The actual wood stove, as I said, is constructed out of an ammo can. If I turn it around this way, you can actually see the uh, latch on the back of the ammo can. And I can still open it as you would a traditional ammo can to clean out the ashes. So before I get too far into the video, I'll uh, get you all set up and give you a detailed look at this thing and how I built it. All right, so here we have the ammo can stove in a uh, close-up viewpoint. You can see for the door, it's got a little spring on a handle. I have a rivet there so it can pivot and you can just rotate this up. And the door opens up on a hinge. The hinge was welded on place to the door and onto the ammo can. I did use a lot of uh, welding on this build and I believe five rivets and a couple of springs so I'd be able to open the latch and move the draft vent on the bottom, which throughout the shadow of my hand, you can see how that opens up, it just slides left and right. Also use the rivets there to fasten the little uh, slider onto the front. I do not have any problems with it uh, leaking any exhaust at this point. The exhaust on top there is a uh, three inch coupling for or like exhaust pipe that you'd use on your car and it is welded to the top of the stove and then I have three inch exhaust pipe for use automotive exhaust pipe that goes down in this. Very durable, it's heavy, it makes a great flue, and it's cheaper than your titanium stove pipe or any other three inch stove pipe that you can find. Depending, you could probably even get it from a junkyard or a similar source as that and get it for even less than what I invested in it. Get the stove full of a couple pieces of charcoal soaked in uh, paraffin and uh, full of a Nice amount of dry twigs and stigs off a couple of pine trees that are around here and should start up fairly easy, so we'll give it a whirl. And before somebody starts yelling at me for using a lighter instead of flint and steel, well, lighters are available and they're trustworthy, so why not? Well, that just about concludes today's video on the old uh, tent wood stove here. I'd say definitely success. I don't think it, I don't, it doesn't seem any warmer out here. <sighs> I can still see my breath, but hopefully in a tent, it should heat it up a uh, tent quite nicely. It is about uh, 
28, 30 degrees Fahrenheit out now. The sun is starting to go down, so it is getting colder and even colder than it was when I started this video. So if you have any comments on the wood stove, please leave them below or questions, email me or leave them in a the comment section. I will respond to those as soon as I possibly can. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. It would definitely mean a lot for me and uh, great motivation to post more videos. And I'm gonna move on the other side of the plume of smoke so maybe you can actually see me jibber jabber away. Um, so again, thanks a lot for watching the videos. I definitely appreciate it and uh means a lot have a good one youtube